Want to get pregnant fast? Here are the tips by Dr. Sudesh Nare. Tip number one, have regular sex. If you really want to conceive naturally, then Pino vaginal penetrative sex is the only way out. There is no other alternative and have it regularly. Often I have these couples coming with fertility challenges and when I ask, ask them about their coital frequency, they say once in a week or once in two weeks. How much ever you think or your partner thinks that he is an Arjun and can hit the fish eye in one go, it usually doesn't happen. The more the regular you have sex, the higher are the chances of pregnancy. You can have it daily, you can have it several times a day, you can have it on alternate days. Everything works as long as it is not done under pressure and it is done with pleasure. Tip number two, know your menstrual period, know your menstrual cycle very well and you can predict the ovulation dates naturally. You actually don't need any fancy kits but a little mental note of the dates of ovulation or a simple app on your phone is a good guide enough. Do not miss having sex during the days of ovulation or around the time of ovulation. Tip number three, the usual ovulation dates fall around the day 12 to day 14 of a 28 day cycle. The best time or the best chance to get pregnant is to have sex within three days before ovulation and about two days after ovulation. Tip number four, you can get pregnant with any position while having sex provided that the man ejaculates inside the vagina. Most of the couples prefer the traditional missionary pose but any position is fine, any position is good enough to make you pregnant. But it's a good idea to lie down for a little while, maybe for a few uh, minutes, maybe about 5 to 10 minutes and not immediately rush to clean yourself after sex. Tip number 5. Get off your birth control methods, whatever you might be using. So stop the condom, stop the pulling out, stop the pills, take out the intrauterine device or the copper tea if you are using one. If you are having some hormonal imbalances and if your gynecologist has given you some hormonal medications, please speak to him or her whether these medications will interfere with your fertility chances or not. Tip number six, if you're planning to conceive, please tell your doctor that you are trying to do so. Whoever doctor you want to visit you are, or you are supposed to visit. Maybe it's for a cold and cough, maybe it's for an acne, maybe it's for a menstrual abnormality, anything. The doctor then will avoid certain medications which can delay the pregnancy or which can cause an unintended harm to the baby if you plan if you are pregnant. Tip number seven. It is always good to have a preconceptional counseling with your gynecologist. It is a good idea to interact with the gynecologist at that time and know about your current health status, your need for vaccinations, your um, need for prenatal vitamins and things like that. Tip number eight. Be aware of the timed biological clock. Yes, I have spoken about it before also. I'm repeating myself. The chances of a pregnancy is more or less the same between the 18 to 30 years of age. I'm, I'm talking about the female age, a female partner's age. Then there is a minute decline every year till about 34 years. The decline is a little more post 34 years and the decline is very dramatic after 37 years. Tip number nine, adopt a healthy lifestyle and it's true for both the partners. Please both the partners have a policy of limited alcohol, limited uh, caffeine, quit smoking policy. Use of any of these by either partners beyond a certain limit is definitely going to delay the pregnancy. Tip number 10, last but definitely not the least. Take things as they come and not as a project. Pleasure of having sex is also a very important facilitator to get pregnant easily. Choose to get pregnant when you want to, not 
when others want you to. You can write to me at drsudeshnacares at gmail.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.